I was singing by the time I was seven years old. I knew that God had given me a gift. I didn't know quite what I wanted to do with it. I was born in Newark and was reared there until I was about five. Her father, John, was an official in city government. Her mother was a great gospel singer. She was featured in a documentary singing the Shirley Caesar song, Who's Going Up? Gospel um, kind of set me on my way. It kind of um, instilled in me a uh, power. Whitney's grew up in the church, and she sang from the time she was like a little, little bitty thing. Church was her first audience. That that's where she was able to realize that she could move people with that powerful, soulful voice. Church music, gospel music, spiritual music, and the women, and them stories, they, they, they play a part of it. Whitney Houston, she had the ingredients. There are certain singers, Whitney is that singer that's anointed. That's what they call it in church, anointed. My mother and father raised us with the fear of God. But I loved church, it was family. It was always, praise the Lord, how you doing? God bless you, child. Praying for you, how you doing in school? It was a family thing, you know? It was a sense of belonging. And the singing, the praise, the joyful noise we made unto God, was, it was amazing. <laughs> Whitney Houston came into a family that was rich in musical history. Well, Sissy Houston is, is Whitney's mother. Had a very distinguished career herself as a singer. She was in a group called the Sweet Inspirations. Sissy Houston sang background on all the hits. I'm talking about Aretha's records, Elvis Presley's records. Among her relatives were Dionne Warwick, the legendary hit maker with those Burt Backrack, Hal David songs of the early 1960s. Her official godmother was Darlene Love, the voice of so many of those phenomenal Phil Spector hits. We became close probably when she was about seven or eight. She was this cute little bundle of joy. She was surrounded by legends. Aretha Franklin was like her honorary aunt. Whitney and Sissy sang together on the background sessions with Shaka Khan. I had been working with Sissy for quite a while as a back, background singer. One day, we were in the studio and she said, um, you know, I have a daughter who can sing. I said, really? I said, how old is she? She said, uh, 11, 12. I said, well, bring her on in, bring her in. I want to hear her sing. And she was amazing, just amazing. Guide me, O oh, Thou, great Jehovah. Feed me till I want. No, oh, more. <laughs> Is that how you did it at 11? Yeah, that's how I did it, at 11. I didn't know I wanted to sing all over the world and sing on stages everywhere across the world. No, 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 no. I basically just wanted to be a background singer. I wanted to sing with my mother. That was safe for me, you know. I was very, very shy. Whitney was so versatile in everything that she did. She, she was modeling before singing. When I met her, she wanted to be a model. And she had the bones. I was 16, and this guy walked up to me and he said, are you a model? I said, no, I don't do any of that stuff. He said, well, you should be. He said, there's a modeling agency upstairs. And I thought, well, hey, if I can do it, I'll do it. And I made some great money. But she wanted to sing. 
because she could. I knew uh, exactly what I wanted to do. As a matter of fact, I informed my mother that I wasn't going to college, that I wanted to become a singer. And she said, oh, isn't that nice? And then her mom told us, Sissy said, well, I knew that Whitney wanted to be a singer. I said, you're going to be the best singer in the world. Sissy is a formidable personality. I think that Sissy prepared Whitney for the world. She was destined to do what she did. Destiny. You either got it or you don't have it. She's got it. She got it. Wait till you hear her. Here's Whitney Houston. When I think of home, I think of a place where there's love overflowing. Something seemed accessible about her, but also really like royalty, like a princess. And I think that a crown was given to her very early. And, you know, the crowns are heavy. Whitney, if, if you ask her the question, did you want to be famous? The answer would be no. And if you really knew that cost that fame brings, you really wouldn't go down that road. Can anyone prepare you for fame? No. But it wasn't really, I wanted, like I wanted to be a star. I just wanted to sing. You know, I wanted to do what was in my soul what was in my heart. This other madness, you know, they say that comes with the territory, you know. Ooh, it's a hell of a territory. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.